Greetings and salutations, everybody. Klautos here, flying around Port Bray on the realm of Vastin. Welcome to uh, episode number five. I'm flying around here because I gotta go to the end so I can repair some of my tools. I just thought I'd do a brief little fly around on camera here because this place is just incredible. I really like it. Anyway, <laughs> today we're going to be getting a hold of Fix It. I got to find him because we got a little project planned. So let me get a bit of charging done and then I'm going to find Fix It and I'll see you guys in just a second. So I get down here and Crafting Mantis is just looking so sad right there at the corner. So I, I, I've been I've been loading her inventory up with Ender Pearls to you know, maybe cheer her up a little bit. So I've already given her a ton. <laughs> Let's let's see if she can let's see if she can take all these here. I don't know, her inventory might be pretty full. I already gave her a whole bunch. And that one. There. Yeah. <laughs> now she's all full. I'm so kind. I'm kind. <laughs> Hi, what's up? I I'm, I'm here with Fix it. I have found you. Hey. How's it how's going? How's it going, Kratos? Uh, I'm I'm doing pretty good. So we somehow found about 10 minutes uh, in our extremely busy schedules to uh, meet up and build a love shack. Yes. For turtles. For turtles. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're, we're really trying to get the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but you got to start somewhere before they become the troublesome teenage years. And uh, yeah. Why are we building a turtle love shack? <laughs> because we have a, uh, we, we, we have a, a custom uh, shulker box recipe. Yeah. Yeah, we just I just I just put it in because um you know everyone in this world um is has like real lives and jobs and stuff and and time is an issue and raiding end cities in extra large biomes which by the way small note if you don't know uh, this world is extra large biomes if you play extra large biomes the end also is extra large which means it is unbelievably far between end cities. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, I, still, I still haven't been down there, so I have no idea. It's so far. Like it's you can fly, 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 and then the worst thing is you fly and you find one that's already been raided. It's really just so. Our recipe is uh, eight chorus fruit and a scoot. So we were messing around one night trying to f figure out how to make scoots, and we didn't get one. But we figured out how to breed turtles. We did. We ended up getting how many turtle shells? We got. We got. Yeah, we got eggs. Yeah, we <laughs> have eggs. Originally, so, so <clears throat> go ahead. Uh, well, so so apparently what happens is the turtle shows as they mature, they just shed scoots. Yeah. Uh, so we're thinking of do three. So kind of a three phase uh, attack here for for kind of a cool build. I just laid this circle ish shape out here, not caring what it really looks like. But we were thinking on the top, make something that is aesthetically pleasing. Mm -hmm. like, right. Like um, kind of so dome, like maybe. Yeah. What'd you say? Some kind of a dome, maybe. Yes. Well, it has to be a dome, right? To keep the snow off. So yeah. something like, and maybe like a tropical oasis in a medieval dome situation, yeah. like a zoo of sorts. Yes. A turtle zoo in the middle of the winter biome. Exactly. Like we're thinking palm trees, a lake in this, I mean, small lake, palm. Yeah, it'll be you little, know? but it'll be, yeah. it'll look nice. It'll be fantastic. But then, but we want to automate it, right? So yeah. underground, we're going to do a scoot automation place. So you can come into our little oasis and then go down and under underground because Klaus just loves digging underground. He tells me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Mind I do it everything so much. I can to get you. I, I try. I try. It's like Klaus, just look at the sky. You're like, no, I must dig. Yeah. Well, you know, thanks for inviting me out here. This is this is a nice place. You've never even seen the sun before on, on two different series. You've never seen the sun. It's yeah. amazing. <laughs> well, I was out here for a little bit, uh, but I, I've, I have yet. Well, actually I did the, on the live stream with, with Joel. That's the one thing that I, that I built out here. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. And, oh, and, and it's, and it's the getting yurt. there. Well, I didn't build the yurt. Grumpy built the yurt, but I sort of helped with the inside right. of it a little bit. Right. So you, you you've been doing stuff. Hey, yeah, a uh, little bit. I, I don't know for sure if I know your viewers haven't seen it. I don't think, and I know I don't think mine have either. But this is the uh, the castle, yeah, over there. It looks awesome, and it's done, totally finished. Yep, looking magnificent. Next, uh, next project. Next. <laughs> so, Jerm and I laid out sort of the just basic shape, but because you know it's kind of like Joel described it as um uh, what what's a what what are the drop like you put a drop in a in a lake uh, ripple, ripple like yeah. a. 
like a ripple effect. Like, you know, we, we kind of, we, we want to build like a city, but you kind of need to know where the castle is, but you kind of need to know where the tree is to build the castle, to build the city, to build the docks. You know, it's yep. kind of this like cascading effect. So yeah, hopefully city. now we sort of know where there is room to build stuff. Yeah, more or less. Well, yeah, I mean, of course, everything's subject to change, but at yeah. least at least a ballpark, like we feel pretty good about this being a safe, safe spot to, to, to hatch turtles, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't think the castle's going to come out this far. Well, no, I, I wouldn't think I so. I haven't even flown around this thing yet. You see. Oh yeah, dude, that looks awesome. It's it's gonna be That's it's good. gonna be really, really big. And it's really different than any way I've ever done castle. Like I've always done castle, like you, you know, you kind of lay out like a round tower and then a square tower and then some walls. And this is just towers. It's like towers and towers and towers. Yeah. Uh but but I trust Germ completely as as being such a master builder, and he says it's gonna be great. So I believe it's gonna be great, but it's it's just different from what I'm used to, you know. So uh huh. I can't wait to see it. I, I, I I'm, tr I'm gonna get German to be like, hey, just build one tower, like one of your sort of palette and stuff, and then we can copy it. You know, like, like uh, of the whole thing, because it's that's too much for one person. You know, that's a huge, it's huge big. project. It'd be, it's big. It'd be like someone trying to dig just an absolutely enormous hole the size of the moon underground. Yeah, all, all by himself. <laughs> well, I've had some help, and it's I, yeah, it's much it's appreciated. It's true. It, we we've been down there a little, but you were doing by far ninety nine point nine percent of the of the work, and it's 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 extreme. Yeah, it's, but, it's it's a big dig. Mantis too, man. She's been she's been going oh, nuts on her cave. Her cave is so big. It's it is. I mean the two of you guys. It it's just amazing that we have two holes as big as what what they're going to be. It's really unbelievable. <laughs> but yeah. that's not what we're doing today. We're doing a turtle a turtle show. So I was thinking what we should do here is we should cut do a bunch of building. Maybe we could do this in a few different phases, like kind of mm -hmm. do the top, the top first. So it looks like a beautiful turtle habitat. Yeah. We should probably get the dome on first. That way we know how much vertical space we have for the trees and stuff. Oh, that's totally so true. We'll yeah. The... And actually then we can get turtles breeding too. And that'll be really yeah, nice. As well. Yeah. Right. Right away. I still and have my, I this... still have my eggs. I <laughs> probably put them in a chest somewhere. Yeah. My, mine are in my ender chest. But originally we, we built like a, a uh -huh. little turtle farm out in, was it out by the coral reef or oh no no it was yeah. it was out by uh by white sands by white sands and we were all the way out there we we're yeah. like yeah this is a great place for a turtle farm way out yeah. there <laughs> yeah. i was like wait we a built, minute. built like a whole shack and everything and then and then Klaus was like hey you know you can silk, silk touch these eggs I'm like no i didn't yeah <laughs> we could totally <laughs> silk touch the eggs and bring them back here so <laughs> yeah we're yeah, gonna... I had no idea. I had no idea you could still touch the eggs. So, uh, so yeah. So now we have like forty or fifty eggs, and plus the ability to easily go get more. They just eat seagrass. If you don't know, they just eat seagrass. And then, and I don't know what the deal is because it says there's a five minute cooldown timer on the wiki, but I don't think that that is true. Uh, for the oh yeah, I don't think that's true either because they seem to. I mean, we were there for what thirty minutes, oh, maybe or so? at most. Yeah. yeah, and and we got like thirty eggs out of three turtles. Yeah, and like, and I feel like as soon as they lay eggs, maybe it's a. I think the mechanics are broke. I think it's probably a bug or something uh -huh. because, like, as soon as they lay an egg, we could breed them again. Yeah, uh, Which I'm not but complaining. This is, this is gonna be a pretty <laughs> cool turtle shell. So, so there's gonna be three phases. Should we tell them what the third phase is? Yes, the third phase is diabolical. Yeah, um, so. The, the the guy who lives here, like the caretaker or someone who, who who breeds turtles, is he seems like a gentle old man. Everyone likes him. He's like, oh, he takes care of turtles. He is not a he, gentle old man. Yeah, he's got a secret underground. <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you call it? He, uh, like an ex like, experimentation like a, facility. Yes, <laughs> like a laboratory. Oh, it's it's very dark. So he's doing experiments on turtles to try to, I don't know, mutate them into ninjas. Or yes. Something. I don't know. Uh, not, so yeah, it may not be incredibly nefarious. Uh, well, giving it turtles superpowers. What... Yeah, I mean, it was a it was a it was a monstrous, uh, monstrously popular cartoon. He's, he's for, doing a for... he's doing a service to turtle kind. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, so we're gonna be so so that's the third phase. So the three phases are well, and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna build a, build a, a medieval looking dome. So not like a sci fi dome, the not structure. like a, a moon base mm -hmm. somehow. And that's gonna be tough. I'll, I'll be honest. I, yeah. To build a dome in a medieval uh, style is going to be we're going to, have to be really smart about how we do the supports and everything. Yeah, yeah. I maybe it'll, in it'll fact, cool maybe though. we would need a middle support. That's you know I was just thinking that, or maybe four, like you know, oh like yeah, a, like a wooden pole here, one over where mm -hmm. you're standing, and two more over there on that side, something like that, just uh, kind of hold it up a little bit. 
like hold it like maybe a ring like a stone ring on top and then glass sort of on the bottom mm -hmm. or yeah. coming out of it yeah something like yeah. that or maybe okay, wood, cool. wood on top stone on bottom oh yeah wood i you know i always build out of stone i don't i'm not sure why i always do that but yeah you're right wood well, for, would make a lot more sense probably. yeah because the stone stone's gonna be real heavy up there on all that glass you know you, you this is why i want to do collaborators because you think of that stuff and i just put a bunch of heavy stuff hanging in uh, <laughs> right over over our loving turtle heads you know uh, well you know I, if it collapses <laughs> you know free soup <laughs> that's true free soup. <laughs> okay that's the name of the episode free soup everybody free soup all right, let's cut here and, and do a bunch of building and stuff, and then we'll come back and, and show the fruits of our labor. Yes, we shall. All see, right. see you guys in a second. All right, you guys, a lot of time has passed since that last clip. <laughs> Unfortunately, the downside of uh, having a family and a full-time job, there are only a few. One of the few is that it's very difficult to coordinate schedules for Minecraft collaborations. <laughs> so... It's been quite a quite a while since that since that first clip. We're about to meet up with Fix It again to uh, to get the thing finished. But I just wanted to show you guys something. Check this out. Oh man, it's done. The dig is done, and now this place is ready to be transformed into a giant crypt with all kinds of rooms and halls and stuff. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. And look at this. Look at this. Feel better, Klautos. And you're probably wondering why it says feel better, Klautos. Well, I was pretty sick uh, for a few days there uh, when I was finishing up this half of the, of the dig. And, uh, you know, I can't even remember how much of this you guys have seen on camera because <laughs> it's been so long. This dig has just been so tedious and time-consuming. I haven't been able to build hardly anything in this season yet because I've just been in here grinding away all of this. So this is what your pal Klautos has been up to. Uh, however, let's see, we moved, let's see, that's the middle beak. No, no, no. Yeah, that's where the, that's where the center is right there above that end portal. And oh, hello. Hello. Die. Taste my blade. Um, yeah, so that, that's the end portal. So we're centering the entire crypt around that end portal. So we need to bring it down. Um, that's probably one of the first things we're going to have to do. Um, so, yeah, so I was feeling pretty sick. I had an infection in my soft palate, uh, which is the, uh, the palate on the roof of your mouth that's in the back kind of by your throat. It's, it's uh, right above where your uvula and your tonsils are. So that thing was swollen and red, and, and if you watch my last Fantasia video, episode 23, you can sort of hear how my voice is a little crunched up like this. <laughs> I don't know, that sounded like Gollum, but uh, it was kind of, I don't know, it's weird. But I noticed that after I, I played the recording back, I was like, oh, my voice still sounds screwed up, but uh, I'm doing okay right now. But this says... Feel better, Klautos, because Fixit came in and finished the crypt for me. I, I, I still had, uh, let's see, where was it? It was going from about here, right? And I had dug about, from the top, I had dug about maybe a third of the way down or something. Something like that. I'm being attacked. <laughs> Die. Um, something like that. And I was slowly chiseling away at all this, and, and, uh, and Fixit came by while I was sick and just destroyed it and I'm so happy and he wrote me a nice little sign saying feel better cloud toast it was really hard for me to play while I was sick too it was hard for me to record and yeah so fix it you're a saint dude saint fix it that that's your new name saint fix it the awesome <laughs> anyway uh I'm gonna go find you again so we can finish our little turtle farm sanctuary project. Let's go get that done, huh? I'll see you guys once I can get a hold of him. Uh, what is going on here? <laughs> Have you guys ever seen anything like this happen? It's just spewing out XP. Does it, does it count? No, it doesn't increase my number. But it's drawn to me. Look at that. Check that out. <laughs> this is funny. Best XP farm ever. If if it worked. 
That's funny. Wait, hold on. Check this out. Check this out. Wait. Where's the button? Yeah. Okay. XP. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Oh, there you are. Aha. Uh -huh. Hi. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been yeah. quite a while. It That's has. okay, though. That's but okay. Look, it's, it takes time to, uh, to, to marinate in our, in our mouths, this, this build that we made. It does. It does. So, Cloud says, we made a turtle. We made a turtle sanctuary here in the, in the frozen tundra. Uh-huh. Uh, I love your towers, by the way. Th Fix it well, did thanks. these towers, y'all. They look amazing. Thank you. Uh, it, I was just saying, we were just saying, it, it's a little, it's a little uh, stone bricky. It, it, we're going to come in and do some texture variation, but we just haven't gotten there and some windows and stuff. So it's not completely done, but I do really like the hanging lantern thing that yeah. I, I kind of came up with. I think that, I just think, I feel like it fits this, this sort of build style. It does. And also from above, it looks like a turtle. That was the plan. Yeah. So like <laughs> I thought do, using like, this is the head where you walk in a big uh -huh. shell and then like yeah. four little legs sticking out. Yeah, we got to put some kind of tail on the back. Definitely. The exhaust, maybe. Definitely. Yeah, that's where, like the sewage. That's where the, they, they funnel out all the, the turtle sewage. That would be perfect. In fact, actually, maybe <laughs> it can come from our secret underground project with this. Yeah. Uh, or something, or that we can involve that somehow. So yeah, that'd uh, be great. Just, the secret underground project, um, is it okay if, I, if, if we tell the people? Yeah, yeah. Why okay. not? So, so, so we, well, let's, let's head in and take a look, but what okay. we, we built a turtle sanctuary and this is supposed to be for look. So people who live in this unnamed city, which is, dude, seriously, we've got to get on naming this at some point. Yeah, we do. Uh, people who live in this unnamed city are going to walk in and they get to come here and just chill out with the turtles and look, one already hatched. Hey, Michelangelo. Yeah. Oh, oh, Michael, we gotta, we gotta give him a name tag. If we do, uh, he'll yeah. probably despawn or something before we get to that. But, uh, yeah. I don't even know. Do they despawn? I have no idea. I don't think so. I mean, he was here yesterday. Oh, well, okay. That's good. So, well, and then, yeah. Rogers, you built these trees. They're amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I, I kind of took your, your waterfall idea from over here on this one. Uh-huh, yeah. Which is very well done. I was like, but it needs to have, like, a bigger one back there in the corner to sort of balance it out, you know? Yeah, it's so good. I, I wouldn't have thought of that. We, we, although this is a collab, at no point were we on at the same time. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> uh, you know, but that kind of thing in, in this world, I find that kind of thing works really well. Like, uh, I'm, I'm doing one of those with Ninny right now where every time I log on, there's more built. I'm like, hmm, okay, I'll just take this and go this direction. Then he gets on, he does a different direction. It works really well, actually. Yeah. Um, like, but these trees that you did are just perfect. Yeah, I like I them. I, I find that when, when you build palm trees, if you build them, on the diagonals, they tend to look a lot better than when you build them not on the diagonals. I can see that. And I, I, I like how you had the leaves. The leaves are like, they're, they are diagonal, but they're still touching. They're not like, it's not just the one pixel point touching. Yeah, then it looks like you have floating leaves. That's, that's exactly. Not, yeah, yeah, we didn't want that. Yeah, this is really nice. I like that middle, the way you brought the middle too uh, in here. It's really super cool. Super interesting. I just feel like this is like exactly where people would come. We've got to figure out right now. We have uh, hidden lighting under these. Uh, yep, that's not hidden. Not not all of them. I added some extra ones. Uh, there. So these are jack o' lanterns uh, in, in our texture pack um, and in yellow carpet. So it just it all blends in perfectly well. And some are, some are brown carpet. Same thing. And I just think it works. It works great. Yeah, but, I tried to keep the the sand ones near the sand and the and the dirt yeah. ones near the dirt. Oh, yeah. You know. I mean, it's 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 perfect. It blends in. In fact, I actually really like it because it kind of gives like another layer. Like, you know, how path block goes down one pixel. Yeah. So like you get, you know, path block is down a pixel. Then you get the regular ground and then these are up one pixel. I think it just adds it just adds like a whole nother dimension to the, the build. Yeah, it's super cool. Ooh, some of these eggs are cracking. Look at this. Oh, see you the can cracks? see it. Yeah. See the cracks in the egg. They're is supposed to be just the white and then those green dots. Oh, but that brownness, that's, that's the cracking. That means oh, that I these see. Are this gonna... one doesn't have cracks. Oh, yeah. That means these are going to hatch soon. And oh, apparently man. they only hatch at night. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so it's good that nobody's sleeping. <laughs> that is true. I bet Criddle will sleep though. Criddle's building right now. <laughs> oh, no, he, he got off. Okay. I didn't even notice. You know, one thing, I, I wish that the snow wouldn't pile on the glass though. You know, I honestly didn't think it would when I built this. That's how bad I know Minecraft mechanics. I thought the glass was like a transparent block. Yeah. Um, well, maybe. I, you know what I might do is just go and remove all of it. And then I'll record like some kind of a, 
I don't know, do like a nice little cinematic without the snow, just so I can have it on record without snow. Well, I mean, we could <laughs> and put I could go string back and look at it. Up we there. could use string. That's a good idea. But I feel like that'd be a ton of string, and I'm still not 100 percent sure how like the server would react to having billions upon billions of strings. Uh, well, we could we could try it, and and if it if it causes a crazy amount of lag, we can we can take it out. So, because I don't know, you know, I don't know, since strings aren't a full block, I just don't know how that whole thing works. I guess snow's not a full block either. So, I, yeah, I just, there's a lot of things I don't know, but uh, that just is among them. Well, uh, let's yeah. go up. I'm going to go into spectator here so I can okay. um, show the outside of this dome because I think it, I think it turned out really well. The giant dome turtle. Yeah. You know, one of the things that I think was, was interesting is, is, um, uh, Klautos, um came up with the idea. What well, we thought maybe instead of all glass, because all of any block isn't so great, I don't think. So um, of having rings go around it, and and I of course use stone brick because that is my go-to. And Klaus said, "Well, yeah, but that'd be really heavy in glass, right?" And I was mm -hmm. like, "Yeah, I guess so." And I'm so glad that you talked me out of it because it's so nice. Yeah, I, th uh, I think it looks good too. I did slab it. I don't know if, if you noticed, but um, that's why the uh oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are kind of thick. Sorry. Oops, I told Craig not to sleep, and then he just got slain by his zombie. You know what you could do? Instead of instead of having a block on a slab, is just use stairs. Yes. Maybe. Yep. Uh, that would work. That would work. I didn't even think about that again, so maybe we'll come back in. That would actually be yeah. a lot smaller, smaller of a profile, because they are a little bit thick. I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, but, it looks um, good as it is. I mean, either way, either way. You know, I, the other thing I thought about is I thought about incorporating lighting into into the rings, like uh, maybe jack o' lanterns somehow into them. Uh huh. Uh, it, which would take away the snow as well. Oh yeah. Wait, f f it would take away the snow from through the glass. Wait, what's that even mean? Oh, it'd be outside. I get you. Whacker. Oh no! A zombie's using Crittle's own sword against him. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I'll go sleep. I'll go sleep. Crittle, I'm saving you. Uh, he can't hear me right now. He's not in voice, but game of. <laughs> Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, but well, then he'll burn up. Should I not sleep? I don't know. Um, uh, no, he'll he'll drop the sword. I think. Oh man, I don't know. Uh, uh I, I don't know how to help. <laughs> I'm gonna go he? over there. Let's go. Let's go save him, Clotus. Where let's is he? He's over in his uh in his uh district. I I think. Okay. You know where that is? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm we still spectator. I should I should be in. Hold on. It's such good, good. Uh, it's such good building. We should show it off. Yes, we should. Let's go. Uh, oh. He built so much more today. There, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm, I'm slow. Boom! I saved him. I saved you, Criddle. I saved you. Uh, so, uh, Clutchos, were you on my stream when I killed Criddle by accident? No, <laughs> I don't think oh. I saw that. He, he was he was pulling some pranks on me with some invisibility uh, thing, and I didn't really think about it. But if he's doing that, that means he doesn't have armor on, and I, I slayed him. By <laughs> I felt really bad though, so Oops. I mean that's something. <laughs> uh, your he helmet. Can't, he, he can't. Your helmet. Here. Boom! There we go. Okay. Uh, there well, we are. I think that's mine. I think. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Cradle. <laughs> oh man! All I do is get that guy killed. Anyway, well, so Clutch, I think I think we did a I think we did a good job on this build. Um, I feel I feel yeah. like really solid about it. Uh, I like it too. Came I think out that well. The, I think that the next thing to do is probably like the underground portion. So, um, we want to do like an automatic harvesting system for scoots. Yes. Clutch, did we even tell people why we need scoots? Yeah, we did in the in the oh. last clip. Okay, that was like a month ago, so it's hard to remember <laughs> what we said. What was like? Uh, I think it was two weeks, right? Was it only that much time? Yeah, oh, yeah, I don't think it was a month ago. I think it was. I, I live in Groundhog Day. Oh, you killed one! I saw that. I Klaus killed one. Murder. Did murder, I murder. You did. You you just murdered a, tur a, a a baby turtle. Really? Yep. There I, was a baby turtle it. there. I have video footage. Everyone on my everyone on I, our channel saw it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yep. I'll yep. just. We need I'll a just, gravestone. I'm just gonna drown myself. We need a gravestone here for for poor little baby Raphael. <laughs> I'm sorry for killing oh, the no. turtle. It's okay. I, he's, he's okay. He, he probably wouldn't have made it anyway. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I guess that's it for us. I guess that's it for us today. I think we did a, a, a fine job. Yes, I agree. I agree. We'll do so, the. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll get on the uh, the red the uh, contraption 
thing soon. That's I like using the word soon because it, soon. it's not a yeah. definite time. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's, that's what time I tell my wife I'm going to get to most of the chores in our house. Yeah, soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, that's it for us. We'll see you next time underground. We'll be doing uh, uh, turtle turtle farming because Klaus mostly loves to dig underground. That's your thing. Yes. Uh, I okay. love it. Okay. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Later. <laughs>